guys I'm back so I have already popped on my red contact lenses and I've tightly wrapped a cling wrap around my head to imitate a bald cap I'm going over it with a liquid latex to rough it up a bit and give it a skin like texture I am prepping my face with NYX's studio perfect photo loving primer I am now using scar wax to cover my eyebrows because we don't need them for this look since I don't want my eyebrows to peek through the concealer, I'm going to color correct it using NYX's Super Clicky Matte Lipstick in the shade In The Red. Using lots of loose translucent powder to set them in place, I'm just going to keep it for some time and then dust off the excess. I am now using NYX's Conceal Correct and Contour Palette to conceal my eyebrows. I am now using NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade 01 which is the lightest shade so that the colors can just pop. I am now going to use some translucent powder to set everything in place. I am now using the lightest pink shade from my Sweet Cheeks palette and I'm going to evenly apply it to give my face a wash of color in the shape of a scarf. Now I'm wearing my headpiece so I can trace the melted ice cream on the scarf. For that I'm using the liquid suede lipstick in the shade Little Denim Dress. After that's done I'm going to remove my headpiece and I'm going to continue with the rest of my face. Oh my god, so now I'm using NYX's Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner in the shade Disco Rage to map out the skull. Oh my god, that was a mouthful. <laughs> it's now time to add some depth and definition to this look. For that, I'm going to be using the blue from my Avon Pop palette and some brown from my 3 Steps to Sculpt palette to create some shadows. Next, I'm using the same super clicky lipstick in the shade in the red to make candy-like swirls in my eye socket. I am just going for it freehand but you can definitely map it out first with the liner. Here, I'm just adding some browns using the same 3 steps to sculpt palette to create some depth. I am now using the same techniques for this eye.
I am now using the ombre blush in the shade Insta Flame to add more color and dimension to the skull. Using my finest brush, I am now going to define and highlight all the details on my face using black and white grease paints. I am now carving out and filling in the hollow of my nose. To give more depth to the skull, I'm using the same brown from the 3 steps to skull palette. Using black grease paints, I'm just carving out and filling in the hollow underneath my cheekbones. I'm further sculpting the look by pulling out the same black grease pins around the contours of the skull to give it a more defined look. Now I'm using white grease paint to create teeth and then defining it further using black grease paint. To complete the skull, I'm just going to use the same pink ombre blush in the shade Insta Flame to create a jawline. Now I'm using Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean to cancel out the parts of my face which I want to blend with the background. Just adding and blending white grease paints to highlight this area. I am adding some sprinkles to the melted ice cream. For that, I am using liquid suede lipstick in the shade Respect the Pink and Orange County. Again, I am further highlighting and defining all the details on my face. With black grease paints, I'm just going to go all over it with my neck to cancel it and blend with the background. Oh my god, we're almost done with this look. Before that, I'm going to pop on this headpiece. I am now gluing on these fluffy colorful balls which are creating the effect of gumballs which are falling off the gumball machine. And lastly, to tie this look together, I'm just going to cut some white strips of paper to create these dramatically long lashes. With that, we have completed this look. And now on to creating the headpiece. It took me three days just because all these details had to dry overnight. And this is the part where you can go crazy with your creativity. I have used mostly cardboard and air drying clay to create most of the details on the headpiece. Here you can see I am creating the lollipop that you have seen on my head.
It's already created the base of my popsicle using cardboard and now I'm just going to make it more sturdy by wrapping on some air drying glue. Using one part water and one part glue, I'm just going to stick on the tissue paper around the cone that I have created made of cardboard to create the texture of a waffle cone. I am using the same technique onto the headband so that I have a sturdy base. I let everything dry overnight and the next evening when it was completely dry I hot glued all the elements on and then I painted and added more details using poster paints. And that is it. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!